Concern over the flesh-eating bacteria continues to grow heading into the 4th of July holiday. Doctors say the bacteria is not just in the water. Eight on your side's Jim Elliney joins us now from Gandy Beach, where people are taking some precautions. Vibrio vulnificus, it's not just in the water. We're told it's everywhere, including the sand. James Paldino took his family to Gandy Beach today. He's cautious, like everyone else, of what's lurking in the water. Flesh-eating bacteria has beachgoers on high alert this 4th of July. I have a six-month-old uh, and a couple other children, so definitely want to make sure that they want to, all the time, be clean and healthy. Cases have been reported around the state in the Bay Area. A 12-year-old Destin girl almost lost her leg to necrotizing fasciitis. According to the Herald Tribune, a woman visiting Siesta Key Beach in May was diagnosed with the bacteria. An Orlando woman got an infection visiting Sarasota Beach. Doctors were able to catch it before it got worse. Lynn Fleming died after contracting the bacteria last month after visiting Coquina Beach. But it's not just the water we need to be cautious of. It can be in the sand, they can be in any surface. Dermatologist Dr. Maria Hicks warns of cuts and scrapes. Consider shaving a few days before you hit the sand. There's a cut, there's trauma. It's very easy that that happens, you know, on the beach or running around. Um, then just make sure that you go wash it with soap and water. Medical experts say people should not be afraid of the beach, but be aware. I mean, life is there and now cases are happening, but it doesn't mean that it happens to everybody. Doctors say check for any redness or any swelling in the area and don't wait to go to the hospital. This bacteria spreads very quickly. In Pinellas County, Jamelina, eight on your side.